I know what his mentality is like. I know how hard working, how driven he is. I don't want to add fuel to the fire of me being him being my son because I've just been so positive about him. Obviously, given that he's that he's nominated and he's happy to be nominated and will give everything to do his best in for his England squad. You always dream about that um, that call up, that start for England as a kid. I think Mason Mount will be one of Chelsea's greats in years to come. I really do because if you think about it, what he's already won already at such a young age. And he'll continue to do that because Chelsea are in such a winning spot right now. We've got a great manager, we've got a fantastic balanced team. I do think that Mason Mount will go down as one of the greats here. For me personally, I've spoken a bit about it before. I kind of, I don't really look into anything like that, um, any negativity that anyone has said. Uh, my main focus is, is what I do on the pitch. Mason Mount is just everything. He seems to have it all because He's an unselfish player, he can assist, he scores, he's so versatile as a manager, you can put him wherever you want. He doesn't do too many triple step overs and flicks over the back of his head in areas that he shouldn't do. He makes really efficient, clean, uh, sharp passes. He's a player that always comes in training early, he gives 100% in training and for me that's what you need to be a top player, is a great mentality and he has that. He's just so important, not just for Chelsea, but for England as well. And you just forget how young he is. So he's got such a future ahead of him. I think he's a really exciting player and a role model as well. Obviously a dream and um, I think for all the years that you work hard, um, dedicate and, and see something like that, it shows that everything pays off and um, it's just a start. It, it doesn't stop now. Mason turned 22 last week um, and he's, I mean, I came to Chelsea at 22 years of age um, and I wasn't, blowing the world away in the first year or so at Chelsea, I was finding my feet. Mason's already got so many games under his belt. Sometimes we, we play most most games with three strikers and Mason is one of the strikers and uh, you can say now, well, but Mason is maybe a, a eight, a half, a, 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 between an eight and a ten. So not a real striker, so we depend also heavily on him. The fact that Mason Mount is out of the camp at the moment and, and self-isolating, how hard has it been for you missing your bestie? Yeah, lost soul. <laughs> um, to be fair, a few of the lads come up to me and said, you look lost. And I said, as a bit of banter, I am. But It's amazing to think, isn't it, that he played in the final of Euro 2020. He's such a young player and so influential as well. And I just think he's a great role model as well. I mean, he's got an army of fans who've probably never even seen him play, but they love him anyway, a lot of the girls as well. But to be fair, I mean, he's just, he, he doesn't let any of that distraction get in the way. He just plays and he's just so good when he's in an England shirt and he looks so proud to be an England player as well. You always dream about that, um, that call up, that start for England as a kid. So I've always dreamt of that. Um. And I love his celebrations. I think that he's, He's one of those players that journalists love to talk to because he's got a bit of personality. You see the celebrations, you see the things he says in front of the camera. It's not a whole bunch of cliches. He's actually decent to talk to and gives you a good answer. And I think all of that is part and parcel of what makes a great footballer. Yeah, maybe when I was in the academy, uh, I did a little flick here and there and a little step over. Um, but as you get older, um, I learned in the championship, that was my first kind of experience of it. They don't always come off. Um, and it's no surprise, you know, that Gareth picks him, that Frank picks him. And I think if you if you give every Premier League manager the chance to pick him, they'd pick him as well. I think what Thomas Tuchel has done with him, of course, Thomas came in and improved the defence so well. And by improving the defence, everything else in front of that just worked. So, for example, the understanding between Rhys James and Mason Mount was absolutely phenomenal. And still a lot of games for him in a very young age and he's very competitive and, and very serious about his uh, um, his, um, his, his goals that he wants to reach. I think Frank Lampard has been so important for Mason Mount because of course he's a midfielder, one of the best midfielders we've ever had, a great goal scoring midfielder as well. He's really helped develop him and of course the negatives of that and the fact that he took him to Derby is that people called him Frank Lampard's son and he had a lot of that off-field distraction but he always managed to kind of bat it off. I don't want to add fuel to the fire of me being him being my son because I've just been so positive about him. And he just did the talking on the field and basically not every manager can be wrong can they because Gareth Southgate uses him, Thomas Tuchel says that he's one of those players you just can't leave out. He makes really efficient, clean, uh, sharp passes. He presses as well as any midfield player that I've worked with or, or played alongside and does a, a, a hundred things uh, within his game that impress the managers that he works for. Yeah, he's had a, he's had a massive influence. Um, 
obviously the faith he put in me to, to bring me to Derby first of all and to, to play me and that valuable experience I gained in the championship um, really really helped me and then obviously going back to Chelsea and um, the faith he's shown in me then to, to play me um, even through the tough times to, to really stick with me it, give me a lot of confidence. I mean, so many players would be jealous of him. There are a retired players who've not won what he's won. And he's only been, you know, a Chelsea player for a couple of seasons, so he's won the Champions League, the Super Cup, the Club World Cup. He's on the Ballon d'Or shortlist in the top 30. I mean, this guy has almost won it all. He's not won a Premier League yet, but I feel that Chelsea are going in the right direction under Thomas Tuchel. I am confident, just got to keep that going, and now the focus is on the next game. He almost had a statue at the bridge just behind us. He had a mural on the wall, which is now painted over. But maybe one day he'll have a statue. I spoke to John Terry the other day, and John Terry said we are looking uh, at the new England and Chelsea captain. He believes that after Aspilicueta, Mason Mount should be the one to captain the side. And when you're talking about a player so young as Mason Mount, for someone like that to say that he should be captain, not least the, the former England and Chelsea captain, that is high praise indeed. I always obviously try to enjoy it, but the, the journey that we've been on is, is unbelievable. Um, where we are right now, we're all so excited. <laughs>